what is up humanoid nation happy new year may 2023 may be a kick-ass year for all of you so today's reaction is by tried and refused productions the bra master trailer review and is this the bollywood magnum opus i've seen the bra master trailer it's pretty interesting so far let's see what i can learn from this because i know nothing so let's learn so let's do this. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Fuck the procedure. Yes, 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 yes. Woo. Come on, I had to be a little dramatic because I'm so excited to talk about this film and everything about it. I wanted to first start off with some of the crazy arguments I've seen on social media about Brahmastra. It somehow sounds like this. You see the bow and arrow over there? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's actually copied from Hawkeye. No, no, oh, no, okay. the reference doesn't date back to Ramayana or Mahabharat. Hawkeye existed even before that. Wait, wait, what? You see the bow and arrow over there? Yeah, that's actually copied from Hawkeye. No, 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 the reference doesn't date back to Ramayana or Mahabharat. Hawkeye existed even before that. You it see did. this color? Oh. Yeah, we have a patent on it. So anything associated with it is Scarlet Witch. No, the timeline of the conception oh, of the idea okay. doesn't matter. All right. That's little... also copied. All right. You see this it. Trishul? Yeah, it's actually copied from Aquaman's Trident. No, this is not actually dating back to Lord Shiva. Aquaman came before those Hindu gods also. Your concept also, na? it's not realistic. Well, um, it's a fantasy film set in the modern era and it takes inspiration from ancient Indian history and mythology. Okay, it took me a while, but I finally get this guy's humor. Okay, continue on. Apology? Ha, but realistic nahi hai. You know the world denotes like superhuman abilities, so it doesn't have to be grounded in reality? Ha, but over the top lag rahe. The Brahmastra trailer dropped and I was eagerly waiting for it. Oddly nervous for it for some reason. Kisi aur ke paise hai, kisi aur ka vision hai, kisi aur ka dream hai aur fat meri rahi hai. Because passion oh. projects like this have a lot riding on them. This is usually denoted what do you say? for it for some reason. Kisi aur ke paise hai, kisi aur ka vision hai, kisi aur ka dream hai aur fat meri rahi hai. Okay, there's because no translation passion for that. Someone like please translate to me what he said, please. Them. This is usually denoted with huge support and a lot of toxicity as well. 10 years for Ayan Mukherjee and 7 years or so for us for yearly updates of how this film is materializing. As I had said multiple times, I will always stand for films and creators, especially if they are pushing the envelope to present something fresh and unique, irrespective of the language and which industry it originates from. People were ready with their pitchforks to dissect each and every frame, so was I. And before I even opened the floodgates of what I liked and disliked about the trailer, I just want to preface a few things. This is not a superhero origin story per se, as we are used to seeing in international projects, but the tale of a regular man, a DJ, Shiva in this case, what played by the Ranjit hell? Kapoor. The oh, wow, okay. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. And ten heads. Okay. All right. Union between him and his love Isha, played by Alia Bhatt, and how fate and destiny of the world through the astras protected in the modern world play its part to choose him to be worthy of wielding the strongest weapon in the universe against evil forces that have their own ulterior motive. This is truly deep rooted in our culture, and people creating parallels with commercial projects like Marvel are only looking at it from the surface level, not looking at how many of these elements showcased in the initial rushes predates to our own ancient stories. This is also not a traditional film with a start and an end, but a project that establishes the foundation for Hindi cinema to truly have a franchise one can be excited for and a world that in continuity expands its characters in universe. Let me get to the good and bad aspect of the film's trailer, so let's go. What I did not like or fear about it, because this is anyway a premeditation of a lot of things, so uh, I'm going to say fear rather than say not like. One tone digitally rendered surroundings. See, the criticism that people have for CGI or VFX of the film cannot be defended on the mere fact that there is a long leap to take in order to be in competition with some of the biggest films globally coming out of Hollywood. And that no one should accept it only on the basis that this is a stepping stone. I think there is a valid criticism about the fact that the surroundings of characters taking into account the fantasy element of the film should not become one tone to the point of making everything in the backdrop artificial. 
The combination of these mystical elements interspersing with the real world is what makes the visuals of any grand film so epic. We have a long way to go in the technical department and I love creators like Ayan taking the leap of faith to attempt to do so that is unparalleled and original but the criticisms so far the digital effects are pretty good for the time that we are in right now. Yeah sure they have to work on it some more but it's still pretty good still has some valid points. Dialogue delivery. What I do experience when a film of this scale is introduced, one has a lot of exposition to do in the film screenplay and this means explaining the world and various terminologies in order to educate the viewers. When Ranbir and Ali are talking to one another and Ranbir is referencing his relationship with Fire, I felt that the dialogue delivery was a tad awkward as one in regular conversation is bringing up their dynamic with elements of the world. I hope this is not consistent throughout the film and its narrative is engaging rather than just visual effects heavy. Amitabh Bachchan who seems to be formidable in the form of Guru really does make the same very organic. But the make or break core of the film will be if Shiva and Isha's relationship effectively works with the audience and I hope that the slight awkwardness in delivery was just momentary. I also wish that they would have slightly altered Moni's voice. It would have given her more But the awkwardness is isn't that supposed to be like a duty thing between the two like the nerves around each other and like they don't know how to act because they like each other or am i reading it wrong because like the awkwardness from what i saw but i guess yeah it could be worked upon monic feel if her voice was like reverbed and a little baritone heavy but from the rushes that i've seen i think the risk to cast her also seems to have been paid off as a worthy one what i liked about the trailer the misconception of love a film of this scale and which has a dependence on technology has to strike the right balance between being emotionally engaging through the relationships that the protagonist forms along the journey and still focusing on the title of the topic that is the marriage of fantasy elements dating back to ancient indian history that are found in the modern world people are so quick to dismiss the very existence of a romantic interest in a film stating are ye to love story hai but it has worked beautifully for them in some of their favorite films especially origin stories the criticism that the movie's storyline should not be overwhelmed with just the love story is totally welcome as i fear the same but you have to realize that some of the biggest failings of big projects is due to the audience not being emotionally invested in the journey and i feel like shiva and isha and their relationship is something that will do that for this movie the pairing of both the actors looks organic and natural and for this to be their first collaboration really does excite oh, it's the first collaboration to see how their chemistry transpires on the big screen the momentary of the movie delivery comes on out the side only or it has it doesn't topple on either ends of the spectrum technically brilliant and emotionally devoid or emotion and drama galore with the astras being the back burner of the storyline i hope it doesn't go either of the ways amitabh bachchan's presence there is something so iconic about amitabh bachchan explaining anything in films he seems to be the mentor for shiva in order to guide him about the responsibility that comes with a power that is so boundless when i hear his baritone voice and command over the language it reminds me of the beautiful contribution he has had to films as a narrator like lagan or jodha akbar his very presence in the film really i think does elevate the quality of the movie and i think furthermore Nagarjuna fits right in this world seeming like a brute force to be reckoned with on the good side CGI VFX looks spectacular in my eyes quite contrary to the other looks i feel like i was thoroughly like i said before we got a long way to go with the visual effects but so far look at this it's pretty amazing it just looks really good by the visuals what, of the trailer compared to what hollywood has with their visual effects sometimes this looks way better with the title announcement and the Vizag promotional video one could still point out several of the frames that seem clunky from a technical standpoint but my god does the trailer promise and deliver what i hear also is that it is something to marvel at on the big screen the trailer itself what i also loved about the visual aspects was how the various elements take shape of the brute force they originate from almost taking the shape of gods and animals that they represent it's a great touch in a film rooted in ancient indian mythology i think what everyone has been seeking for in terms of the visuals can be seen in the rushes of the trailer ritam every time i hear the sad version of arijit singh's kesariya it makes me close my eyes and go to a different world and i hope they have integrated his vocals in the screenplay well because it will really work as the movie reaches an emotional crescendo with shiva and isha i hope he so what is he, is he a singer in outside of this movie is that what he's saying? okay i got to do some research but i didn't do any research before watching this but is he a singer let me know please
algorithm has delivered with the music of this film because it acts as such an important component for any film to do wonders in the box office. You see Vikram, KGF or even RRR, the marriage between the visuals and breathtaking music has resulted in the spectacle that they were scratching the surface of our rich history and mythology. It's important to note on how Hindi cinema has barely scratched the surface in utilizing the elements from our ancient Indian history and mythology and truly extended its potential in terms of big scale larger than life cinema. What I hate about us as an audience is that we constantly seek for original and inventive storylines and when one attempts to do so, we are quick to jump the gun and dismiss it by creating odd parallels with random characters and stories not even letting an idea breathe while craving for exactly that. The very fact that the premise itself is so rooted in our culture of gods and spirituality makes me think that if Brahmastra turns out to be a lightning in a bottle, it will only pave the way for so many storylines across the same genre to be explored. The nascent stage of us technologically will only flourish if this film clicks. God forbid if it doesn't, it will only deter any creators for ever investing that much time and taking such a monumental risk. I am cautiously optimistic about this film. The audience has been demanding for original path breaking cinema that is deeply rooted in India. I want this to work so bad and it's not even funny. But at least the I trailer gives us a glimpse. Well, I, the movie has already come out, so I haven't watched this. I'd exactly promise you that. Is. And that was the video, guys. Write it down in the comments below what you thought about the Brahmastra trailer. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPansPo. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and smash that like button give him some love because like he was very informative in what he was saying but yeah i would, i need to still see this movie see how the visuals are and like everything he said because of like their indian culture and uh history that i don't don't know anything about and i'm not part of that culture but hey it, rrr brought me to this and it opened up my eyes for like what Indian cinema can do, and every trailer I've seen so far looks really good, really amazing. But anyways, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito. Cuando tú me ves.